Hello students, next let us study about volume of conductor used for various systems of power transmission. The different types of power transmission systems are DC system, single phase AC system, two phase AC system and three phase AC system. Under DC system, uh, there are DC 2 wire, then DC 2 wire with midpoint earth, then DC 3 wire. And uh, under single phase AC system, single phase 2 wire single phase 2 wire with midpoint earth single phase 3 wire and third one two phase ac system uh, there are two types two phase 4 wire system and two phase 3 wire system and three phase ac system are of two types three phase 3 wire and three phase 4 wire first let us find out the volume of conductor required in two wire dc system with one conductor earth so this is the figure of this system that means there are two wires that is one wire is positive that is the outgoing wire and the other is the return or negative wire and it is connected in between two conductors or two wires are connected in between the load and here one conductor is earth so let us find out the volume of conductor required for this system so here I1 is the current flowing through each wire and Vm is the maximum voltage between the conductors and let us consider power to be transmitted as P then we know that load current I will be equal to P divided by Vm and first let us find out the line losses so line losses we know that I square R for that we, uh, we have to determine a resistance so if r1 is the resistance of each line conductor then r1 will be equal to rho into l by a1 a1 is the area of uh, the conductor in this system and thus we can find out line loses w is equal to 2 into i1 square r1 because there are two conductors so we have to take line losses as 2 times i square r so 2 into i1 square into r1 so substitute i1 that is p by vm here into r1 is rho into l by a1 so then we will get uh, from this equation we will get area of rho section a1 as uh, 2 into p square rho l by w into vm square and the volume of this conductor is area into length here there are two conductors so the volume of these conductor material required will be two times area into length so here the area considered is a1 so 2 into a1 into l so substitute a1 here then we will get the volume of conductor material required in this system thus volume is equal to 2 into a1 into l substitute a1 here then we will get 4 into p square rho l square by w into v m square let us take this term 4 p square rho l square by w v m square as k so here p is the power rho is the resistivity of the conductor then l is the length of the conductor w is the line losses and v m is the maximum voltage across the conductors now let us consider the second case which is two wire DC system with midpoint earth so this is the figure of two wire DC system with midpoint earth so here also there are two wires and the midpoint of this is earth here okay so Vm is the voltage across one conductor and earth so here the total voltage or the maximum voltage will become across these two conductors will become 2 times Vm then the load current I2 I2 means in the second case we take it as I2 in the first case we take current as I2 I1 so here I2 is equal to P divided by 2 times Vm after finding out current we can find out line losses here also there are two conductors so 2 times I2 square R2 substitute I2 here then we will get line doses as P square rho L by 2 times A2 Vm square from this find out A2 then we will get A2 as P square rho L by 2 into W Vm square 
here also we have to find out the volume of conductor material required so volume of conductor material uh, in this case also it is 2 times a into l since there are two wires or two conductors uh, we have to multiply the volume by 2 then become uh, 2 into a to l so uh, in the second case we are considering area as a2 so substitute a2 here then we will get uh, p square rho l square by w into vm square so in the first case we take this term 4 times p, p square rho l square by w vm square as k so here we only get p square rho l square by w vm square so by comparing the first two cases we can conclude that here the volume of conductor material required is 1 by 4 times k so k is the volume of conductor material required in the first case so uh, when here only one fourth of the volume required in the two wire DC system uh, two wire DC system with one conductor earth is required so here uh, the volume is required in the system is one fourth of that required in a two wire DC system with one conductor earth so uh, here we are calculating each case with respect to the first that is uh, by with reference to the first case here we are calculating the volume of conductor in each cases now the third one next one is three wire DC system so consider this figure that means here there are three wires and the midpoint is earth so the load current will be I3 so I3 equal to P by 2 times Vm because Vm is the voltage across one conductor and earth so uh, 2 Vm will be here we have to consider the voltage across these conductors so 2 Vm is the voltage across these conductors then line losses will become 2 times I3 square R3 equal to 2 into P square by 2 Vm into rho L by A3 so from this find out A3 so here there are 3 wire uh, three wires that is two wires are the conductors and the third wire is the neutral wire so uh, while calculating the volume we have to consider the area of this neutral wire also okay so let us assume that the area of cross section of neutral wire to be half of that of the outer wire so uh, thus we will get in case of two conductors the volume was two times al so here the conductor area is considered as uh, 0.5 so 0.5 AL so the total A volume will be equal to 2.5 AL or uh, here there are three wires that is two conductors so the area is A plus A plus one wire is neutral wire so the third wire or neutral wire that's area is taken as 0.5 a that is the total area total area is 2.5 a thus the volume will be equal to 2.5 into a l so here the volume of conductor material required is 2.5 into a3 l so 2.5 into substitute a3 here then we will get uh, 5 by 16 times k because k is equal to 4 p square rho l square by w v, vm square so here uh, it is 2.5 then we will get 5 by 16 times k next one is ac system so there are all three cases under dc system next uh, let us study the ac system that is first one uh, single phase two wire ac system with one conductor earth so in this figure we are uh, taking a winding and two conductors across this winding that is one is outgoing wire and the other is incoming wire to the winding and this is here one conductor is earth here okay so since this is the fourth case here we are taking the parameters as uh, suffix as four okay and the voltage across these two conductors is vm then i4 will be equal to we know that p 
this is a uh, single phase ac system so for ac system p is equal to v rms into i rms into cos phi so vm is the maximum value okay so we have to find out rms rms is equal to vm by root 2 so i rms or this is the fourth case so i4 is equal to p divided by v rms into cos phi so p divided by vm by root 2 into cos phi this will be the current in the ac system okay so here uh, we are finding out the rms value also here also uh, this is also the rms value denoted by i4 so here i4 is uh, root 2 p by vm cos phi then line losses so here there are two conductors so the line losses will become two times i4 square into r4 so substitute here then we will get uh, 4 p square rho l by cos square phi vm square a4 find out a4 from this equation so this is the a4 then uh, for finding out volume multiply by 2 that is 2 times a4 into l since there are two conductors 2 into a4 into l so substitute a4 here then we will get 8 into p square rho l square by w vm square into cos square phi so we know that k is equal to 4 p square rho l square by w vm square so by comparing both these equations it is 2 times and also uh, there is an extra extra term here that is cos square phi so uh, the final one will become 2 k by cos square phi so this is the volume of conductor material required in single phase two wire ac system with one conductor earth next one is single phase two wire system with midpoint earth so this is the figure of single phase two wire system with midpoint earth okay so vm is the voltage between uh, one conductor and the earth one okay so here uh, the voltage across these two wires will be 2 vm so what will be current i i will be equal to p divided by root 2 vm cos phi that is the voltage rms value voltage will be 2 times vm by root 2 okay thus the voltage rms value is root 2 vm so i phi will be equal to p divided by root 2 vm cos phi and the line losses will be since there are only uh, two conductors it is two times i phi square r phi from this equation find out a phi and the volume will be equal to 2 into a phi l so by comparing uh, with the first one that is k is equal to p square rho l square by w vm square we will get uh, this volume as a k by 2 cos square Phi. Now the sixth one that is single phase three wire system. So this is a single phase three wire system and the midpoint is earth. Okay. So uh, Vm is the voltage across wire and this midpoint. So 2 Vm will be the voltage across these two conductors and here also RMS value voltage will be the same case as uh, before that is root 2 vm so i6 is equal to i6 is e equal to p divided by root 2 vm cos phi line losses w will be equal to 2 times i6 square r6 so here uh, the third one is neutral wire so uh, that we have to consider only uh, while taking the volume okay so w is equal to 2 into i6 square r6 so substitute i6 here then from that find out a6 then volume will be equal to 2.5 a6l then we will get this value 2.5 into p square rho l square by w vm square by into cos square phi by comparing with k we will get volume as 5k by 8 cos square phi next one is two phase four wire ac system this is the figure of two phase four wire ac system here uh, this system is considered as two independent single phase systems so each transmitting one half of the total power so this wire will transmit one half of the uh, power and this will transmit other half 
so total the four wire will transmit the total power so the four wires are taken from the ends of the two phase windings and the midpoint of the two windings are connected together so here the voltage across this two phase is 2vm so here we are considering this 2vm so i7 will be equal to p by vm by root 2 cos 5 then power loss will be equal to 2 into i square r7 from this find out a7 and volume of conductor material required is 2 into a7 l because uh, the system is considered as two independent single phase system so the total power is transmitted by this uh, whole arrangement so uh, these two bindings will combine together to provide the half power so here the volume of conductor material required is 2 times a7 l so 2 into 4 p square rho l square by w vm square cos square 5 then uh, here this value is k so 2 k by cos square 5 next one three phase three wire system so this is a three phase three wire si system uh, and the maximum voltage between conductors is vm so the maximum voltage between phase and neutral that is the phase voltage will be vl by root 3 so here vl is vm so vm by root 3 and the rms value will, will be vm by root 3 divided by root 2 so uh, rms value of voltage will be vm by root 6 so uh, and the power transmitted per phase will be p by 3 so current will be equal to power by voltage so here the power is p by 3 and the voltage is vm by root 6 and into cos 5 and uh, since there are three conductors the line loss w is equal to 3 times i square r so from this w find out a9 that is area then the volume will become 3 times a9 l so after calculating we will get 1.5 k by cos 5 the next one is three phase four wire system three phase four wire system here there are three conductors and the uh, fourth one is neutral wire so the area will become 3.5 into a area so volume will be uh, vo volume will become 3.5 into a into l so here a9 is equal to a10 that is the previous case so substitute a9 here then we will get volume as 1.75 times k by cos square 5 that is the volume of conductor material required in this system that is in three phase four wire system is 1.75 by cos square 5 times that required in the two wire dc system so this is how the volume of conductor material required in each case is calculated. Thank you.